Okay. That's our action card. These are a couple of our sculling oars that we manufacture that I've cut off because they were a little long and we can only sell them or send them if they're eight and a half feet long. But you'll notice there's a flat in the end of the oar and that flat matches up with the flat on the blade. So you're gonna be putting this part of your hand against that flat. That way no matter where, if you lose your stroke and don't have it, find that flat, bring your hand right back onto that spot and you're ready to go. Now we're gonna to go to the oar in a minute, but what you're doing, you're sitting in your skull boat to practice. You push it all the way to the port side, rotate it away, pull the oar towards you, then rotate it towards you and push it away. Rotate away, pull it towards, rotate towards you, push it away. That is going to be your entire stroke. Okay, let's take a look on an oar itself. We have a flat on this oar. Now this oar came to us uh, with this oar handle. Some of the guys like the flat on, on here. It's about an inch and three eighths to inch and a half. And we have the handle with a flat here. But again, that flat fits right on this portion of your hand. You'll just grab a hold of that and you'll push it all the way to the port side of the boat, rotate it away, pull it towards you, rotate it towards you, push away. Rotate away, pull it towards, rotate towards you, push it away. That is your complete stroke. And for turning, we'll go to the blade in a minute, but you are going to power with a stroke and then flat it back. Power with a stroke, flat it back. Okay, now if we take a look down at the, uh, the blade end, the blade, the top of the blade is flat, just like the top of the handle is flat. The other side is convex. The water rolls over the convex area, and you'll know you won't get that much uh, power by using the convex area. But this is bent, so the ore blade itself is down in the water, and we're going to take the uh, handle grab a hold of the flat, which matches the flat and the blade, push it all the way over to your port side, rotate it away 45 degrees, and pull it towards you. Then you rotate it 45 degrees, the other side of horizontal, and push it away. So you are rotating and pushing, rotating, pushing, you're pushing water, pushing water on every side of the stroke. Eventually you'll get to a point where that oar is going to flex as you're powering and as you're rotating into the next side of that stroke, it will be releasing some of the energy and you can almost get 100% power out of your stroke. And then if you want to turn, you're powering and flatting back, powering and flatting back, and that power stroke is 45 degrees off horizontal. To work the other way, you just push with the blade one way, flat it back. Push and flat it back. That's all there is to your oar and sculling. And have any questions, give us a holler.